today we're going to show you how to set up and use the Amazon Fire Stick. Here we'll be using a Fire Stick 4K, but they are all basically the same. The only difference is that the Amazon normal Fire Stick is in its second generation. It has a slightly updated um, remote. It has slightly better Wi-Fi connection. The only difference between these devices is that the normal Fire Stick was updated to have a slightly better Wi-Fi connectivity and more recently a new remote. And the Fire Stick 4K has an even better processor. It has a more advanced remote. Both have Alexa built in, but the Fire Stick 4K obviously supports the 4K resolution. It supports HDR, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, if your TV supports that. Even if your TV isn't a 4K TV, it might be worth getting the 4K Fire Stick just due to the snappier processor, which means that the interface will be smoother and less laggy. So here's the box, it shows you what is included. We've got the Fire Stick 4K, the voice remote, second generation. It's powered by two AAA batteries. It's got the power adapter, the USB cable, and the HDMI extender cable. The 4K stick in particular supports 4K Ultra HD content up to 60 frames per second. The remotes for both devices have Alexa built in, so you can use it to search for films, TV shows, and other functionalities. We've got two batteries, all the instruction manuals, the HDMI extender, so if the device itself, which is here, is too wide to fit next to other HDMI ports, you can plug it into the extender, which is a little bit narrower and a little bit longer to give you more flexibility. Now the HDMI extender not only helps if you're having trouble fitting the Fire Stick into the HDMI port on the TV, but it also improves Wi-Fi and remote performance. Now as it says in the guide, remember that if you want to stream 4K content, you'll have to connect the Fire Stick 4K to a HDMI HDCP 2.2 port on the TV. We also have the power cable here and the new um, Alexa remote here. So that's got a microphone up at the top. The whole thing feels very premium. The device is a bit large, but very simple. There are no buttons on it, just one micro USB port for the power. So here's how we set it up. You take the Fire Stick device itself and plug the power cable one end, the micro USB end, into the socket in the device. Plug the Fire Stick itself into a HDMI port on the television and also the other end of the power cable, the USB, into a USB port. We also have a power adapter, so if, um, if you want you can either power this Fire Stick through a USB port or if you don't have a spare USB port um, you can plug it into the power adapter and just power it through a main socket. It's exactly the same either way, but we're going to use the USB because it uses one less socket. Now as you can see the HDMI port on my TV is too tight on space to fit in the large Fire Stick. So I'm going to use the HDMI extender that is included to give me some more room. Now I've plugged the device into the HDMI port and the power into either the USB or the main socket. Put the batteries into the remote and slot that back on. These are the buttons on the remote. Obviously the, uh, the power button, the LED light at the top. Hold the microphone down if you want to speak into it and then let go. Uh, this is your navigation, so it's a bit like an, an old iPod, but it's just left, right, up and down and then in the middle is the OK button. The home button here to go back to the main screen. You've got the back button, the menu button, the fast forward and the rewind, and obviously play and pause, the volume up and the volume down, and then the mute button. So now we've plugged it in, we're gonna to go to the corresponding HDMI channel on the TV to complete setup using the Alexa voice remote. So you should see a loading screen with the Fire logo. It might take some time to load up for the first time, so don't worry. Now the remote should automatically pair with the, um, the device. Once the remote is paired with the Fire Stick, press the play or pause button to start the setup process. The Fire Stick will ask you to choose your preferred language and then it's going to try and connect to the Wi-Fi. So pick your Wi-Fi and you'll have to put the password in. Click connect and that will get to work. It'll download the latest software update and then it will ask you to register your new Fire Stick with an Amazon account. So if you've already got an account, which you probably do, then select I have an Amazon account and sign in with your email address and password. Now since this is the first time using it, it might ask for a verification code. It will send you through a code and so you check your phone, enter it in here. Your Fire Stick will now register, so wait a few seconds, confirm the account, 
Save the Wi-Fi so it'll connect automatically. Select if you'd like parental controls to uh, control the content that your kids see. Amazon will now set up the remote. It's going to test the sound. And now you're going to test the volume up and volume down buttons. The remote is now set up. Now to give you a fast start, it's going to ask you if you want to choose some apps to download to the device. So it's a bit like an a, a phone or a tablet in that you can choose what apps you download. So we want here, let's say BBC iPlayer, YouTube, and any news services, any sports services, and any featured services. So now these apps will be downloaded and added to the home screen. So now the Fire Stick has been successfully set up. As you see, this is the home screen that you'll be greeted with every time you start the device and go to that channel on the TV, the HDMI channel. So to use the Fire Stick, obviously you'll be greeted with the home tab every single time you load it up. If you go down, you'll see a lot of your recent apps and channels that you want to access and a lot of Prime content. Some games, a bit of everything. Um, if you go off the home tab, you'll see um, my videos which uh, will be anything on your watch list, anything that you're in the middle of watching. Movies and TV shows tab is a lot of prime content and then apps is what you want if you want to use Netflix or Spotify or anything like that. You can always change things in the settings. So if you want to get set up the first time find all the apps that you want to download and that will start adding them. Now to quickly find the apps that you want to download Go over to the Apps tab and go over to Categories in the top left. Scroll on to Entertainment and most of the apps you want will be on there. Find the app that you want and load it up. If you want to use the remote for this, then you can simply hold the button down and tell it what you want. Open Netflix. Here's Netflix. And now you can sign into all your apps and start watching. So that is how you unbox and set up your Amazon Fire Stick or Fire Stick 4K.